Are you a Rafa or Roger man? Always a Rafa man. That's why I've got his racket. What are you, you, <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing already? Usman, good morning. How you going? Look, we know you've got your hands on the brand new Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Want to spend the day with you and see how it's going? Yeah, it's going great. Come on in. Thank you so much for welcoming us into your home. How's your morning been so far? Uh, pretty good. I've been with the girls. They normally my alarm clocks. They woke me up, but uh, look after them. And then Dad looks after himself with a little coffee and then see what the day holds for him. Look, I heard you make a mean coffee. Is that on the menu this morning? Yeah. Do you want one? I'd absolutely love one. So what's your go-to meal every morning? My go-to meal changes and depends. If I'm not training, a lot of times I might not have a meal. I'll just do intermittent fasting. But if I am training, I'm a protein man. Eggs, um, avocado, anything to give me a bit of protein. So how strict does your diet have to be as a professional cricketer? For me, it's figuring out what I need to eat, when I need to eat it, and the older I'm getting, the metabolism's slowing down. So has the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro taken a lot of the guesswork out of your progress? Uh, my new watch is 100%. It's something that I kind of live by. So I have to, as I already mentioned, I don't have the greatest metabolism. So I have to look at it. I have to see what I'm doing during the day. Sometimes what I'm feeling and how much I'm doing don't really line up. The watch is one of those things where it's objective, tells me what I've done, tells me the calories I've burnt, tells me my heart rate, and then I can actually prep my meals around it. So the watch is really important for me. So I have to ask, who in the Australian team considers themselves quite the foodie? Look, we all consider ourselves foodie. We eat out a lot, but I mean, I've loved food as a kid. I've been talking about food for about five minutes here, so it's probably me. So who does most of the cooking in your household? My wife does most of the cooking, but that's just because she's a genius cook. Um, other than that, curry, whatnot, it's probably me, but it's my wife. She's too good. She has to do the cooking. So when you cook, what's your signature dish? Uh, my signature dish would have to be a beef short ribs. I love smoking. I'm a smoker, man. Beef short ribs and brisket. And funnily enough, my smoker's out here. So do you want to have a look? Yes, please. I've got a lot to hear for you. Oh, thank you very much. You Pleasure. Oh, that's a nice coffee. Wait, is that the smoker? Yeah, look, this is, this is my baby, this is my bad boy. Even LeBron's out here, he probably knows I spend a lot of time out here. Uh, oh wait, hold up. Nice whip. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what I drive on the weekends, this bad boy. Uh, I think my daughter loves this. Yeah, she goes around here all the time, so I appreciate it. So this must be your favorite spot in the house, more so than the trophy room? Look, I love smoking. I love food, uh, I love meat. This is my place, this is, where I, this is my happy spot. Um, if I'm cooking a brisket, it usually takes me around 16 to 18 hours, but beef shorties, five to six, nice and quick. People can come in, I can plan for it. I don't have to spend, you know, I have to wake up at 2 a.m. to do a brisket. So yeah, beef shorties on this bad boy, one of my favorite things to do. So perfect time for a plug. Where do you get your brisket? No, I get my brisket from pretty much a lot of different butchers, um, but it generally changes on what the brisket looks like and where they're coming from. So you're hosting a barbecue, dead or alive, which three celebrities outside of cricket would you be inviting? I'm going to invite four. I'm going to invite LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Lewis Hamilton, Tiger Woods. <laughs> Ooh, all the goats. Yeah, look, I, I'm a sportsman. I, I have to invite sportsmen. Talking sportsmen, is that a tennis court I see over there? It is. Want to have a hit? Yes, let's go. Let me school you. Come on. Oh, quite the walk from your house. What's longer? The walk out in the middle or to this tennis court? I mean, you got to stay fit one way or another. Come on, Alex. Better than that. So I have to ask you, what would you prefer? Wimbledon or the Masters? Oh, it's a tough one. I love golf and tennis. But we're at tennis right now, so I'm going to say Wimbledon. Are you a Rafa or Roger man? Always a Rafa man. That's why I've got his racket. What? You... <laughs> what Sorry. Are you doing already? No, that was the producer's fault. Lucky shot. I need every advantage I can get. Look, to be honest, I'm going to sit this one out, stick to my day job, and just ask some questions. So are you tracking this workout? I am. Got my watch on. I'm up to about 100, 100 heartbeat at the moment, so probably as high as I'd get if I was playing you anyway. I'm going to be asking some quick fire questions. You ready? Ready. Favorite subject in school? Physics. If you weren't in sports, what would you be doing? Flying planes. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Flying. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? One horse-sized duck. Most hostile pace attack and test cricket at the moment? Uh, I'm gonna say South Africa. Favorite player to bat with? Um, David Warner. What's your go-to takeaway order? Fried chicken. 
Who has more in-game rituals, Steve Smith or Nadell? Steve Smith by a mile. Ozzy Bowler, you hate facing most in the nets. Mitchell Stark, too fast. Who does the most no balls in the nets? Ooh. Mitchell Stark, that's a lie. No, they're all pretty good. Worst ledger in test cricket. Ooh. Ah. You put some venom behind that one. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think. Nah, no one really. I don't really pay attention to it, so. Look, we've gotten your heart rate up a little bit. What about some golf? All right, let's do this. Wow, couldn't have asked for a better day for Uzi. But first question though, what is the biggest strength and weakness of your golf game right now? Biggest weakness, definitely cricket. I've been hitting a lot of balls. Doesn't always help my cricket swing. I start hitting cover drives, slices in the other wood. But biggest strength, I'm not really sure. Maybe my mental game. So you've hit the jackpot and have me for a caddy today. Is that right for you? Yeah, as long as you give me the right club. Well, it uh, looks like you're going driver, so uh, see you hit one. Smack one. A nice draw down the left-hand side of the fairway would be perfect. Ooh. You have to be happy with that. I'm very happy with that, yeah. So how goes your chipping game right now? Uh, chipping is probably one thing I'm all right at. Short distance, so not much can really go wrong. Oh, famous last words. So do you watch a lot of golf in your free time? I love watching golf. I watch golf all day, every day, really, if I could. But, I mean, a lot of my golf play is natural. I never really got taught any lessons. Probably why not. I'm not a professional golfer. So I love the game, and I, and I respect for what it is. So who's your favourite player on tour at the moment? Uh, yeah, Cameron Smith, Aussie. He's doing, he's doing batting, oh sorry, he's playing golf like a genius. So Cameron Smith's my favourite golfer at the moment. So talking Cameron Smith, let's see if he can chip like a pro. Nice up and down, what do we think, pin high? Yeah, it'd be nice. Oh, it's looking good. In the hole. Oh. So we've got a few steps up today, how are you tracking? Yeah, look, I'm tracking really good. I've got plenty of steps. I'm used to it, play cricket all the time. I reckon we get about 20, 30,000 steps uh, in a day. So, love the step count. Well, they say putting is everything. Putt for dough, drive for show. But firstly, what is more embarrassing? Three putting, overthrows, or getting called for a run short? Overthrows, for, oh, run short's pretty embarrassing because you can't blame anyone else. <laughs> That's definitely the most embarrassing. All right, well, let's see how you read this putt. I think it's uh, breaking right to left. Um, got a bit of movement here, but uh, how about a cheeky bet if you miss? What do you want? Well, now that you ask, a few tickets to the test would be nice. Whoa, whoa, Get in whoa, the hole. Oh, thank you. Well, it wasn't that bad. That's a pretty good part. I'll take a par on this hole. <laughs> and I'll take those tickets. We've had a great round. You've played well. I'm starting to get hungry. How about make this final putt, we go home and enjoy that lovely smoked meat you got cooking. Sounds good. Winner takes all, smoked meat at home. Well look Uzi, your putting's been pretty solid today, but I've got those tickets in the bag, so I'm quite confident. Oh, oh. Shouldn't be. Oh, crept in there. Doesn't matter how it goes in, Caddy. Oh, that smells delicious. Woo. Looks good. Well, thanks so much for having us, Uzi. We're so glad to hear you enjoying the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. No, look, I love the watch, awesome watch, but I'm starving. Let's eat this thing. <laughs>